Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The money's run out. Our treasuries are empty, our credit is exhausted, and you don't have to look far to see the reason why. For 40 years, this chamber and the other EU institutions have been passing more and more intrusive laws depreciating the private sector. We have the most generous workers' rights uh, anywhere in the world. Plenty of rights, but fewer and fewer workers. Work is becoming a lifestyle choice. People stay in full-time education for longer and longer. They retire earlier and earlier as a percentage of their total lifespan. And in the few years in between, they're likely to be working for the government. So who is generating the revenue? That's to pay for all the things that we want to spend. Now, forced by the financial crisis, many of the member governments are looking to retrench. And yet we have the extraordinary situation where every penny they save at home and more is being swallowed up by these constant increases in the Brussels budget. The private sector in Europe is shrinking. Our demographic situation is dire. The only way to restore prosperity is to look beyond Europe to the parts of the world that are still growing. And if we can't do that within the common external tariff, we should seek the wider horizons which our fathers took for granted.